I saw that the Dutch farmers were blocking the streets in the Netherlands. Massive, massive protests. They're blocking highways. They're blocking traffic. Um, I've seen them even spraying manure on government offices here in some of the clips, which I don't think we'll show you this morning. Having lived in Europe for more than six years, I realized that was significant. So I jumped on an airplane. I left Mexico, came straight here to the ne Netherlands and went out to the first farmers I could find blocking streets. And I said, why are you blocking the streets? Uh, and so, because, you know, in every country that I go to around the world, I've spent more than half of my life traveling around the world to places like Afghanistan and Iraq and India, and I go straight to the farmers, uh, because that's where you get one of the pulses, right? And, and I said, what's going wrong here? And they started telling me and giving me an earful, and I realized we have a significant problem. And as you know, I've written three books on, in, unfortunately, they're only in Japanese language. I wrote them in English, but they're about information war, right? The real game changer was Cambridge Analytica. They'd worked for the Trump campaign and for the Brexit campaign. They started using information warfare. Uh, so I, 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 I study information war. As you know, information war is the PhD level of warfare. All the kinetics, which I did for years in various wars, Iraq, Afghanistan, whatever, uh, that's certainly very important, especially when you're in it. But the PhD level of warfare is information war. Cambridge Analytica claimed to have 5,000 data points on every American voter. I started tracking down all these Cambridge Analytica ex-employees. Someone else that you should be calling to the committee is Brittany Kaiser. Brittany Kaiser, once a key player inside Cambridge Analytica, casting herself as a whistleblower. The reason why Google and Facebook are the most powerful companies in the world is because last year data surpassed oil in value. Data is the most valuable asset on Earth. I realized that the Dutch were at an epicenter of the information war, as are the Japanese. That's why I wrote those three books, warning the Japanese that, they're at the, that they are being targeted by the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, in, a, in an information campaign that's designed to split the Koreans and the, and the Japanese and the Americans apart. It's now, I, I, wrote those, I started writing those books in 2014, and in 2019 and 20, the, actually the split was, was uh, relatively complete with the Japanese and the Koreans, all based on information war.